Hi folks, very quick but amazing SolidWorks trick here. A big shout out to Greg. He just mentioned this on the Wednesday widget this week for the Stamp It project. I am completely mind blown by this, mostly because I have found that the sort of vectorized raster type stuff even in, in CAD, high-end CAD, isn't that great like if you're trying to have it trace an image. This is a little bit different. But basically, we're gonna have it fix and clean up all this with an automatic spline tool. Now, I don't like splines for the simple reason that I don't understand them, and that's my own ignorance or my own fault, but I was taught this trick this morning, and it's I had to share it with you guys. It is amazing. So what we're gonna do is we can hold the shift key down, and the way that works in SOLIDWORKS is it'll select anything that's completely selected. So if we start it about right there, oops, and if we don't want, want something, we can hold the control key and select that, hold down the shift again. We'll just do this left side here and then we'll go to tools spline tools fit spline we're gonna have it delete the existing geometry because we don't care about that in the tolerance you know you can put whatever you want experiment around click ok look at that folks uh, amazing like mind-blowing so cool and you can do it in shorter seg segments which would allow you a little bit more flexibility control to manipulate that image as you see fit um, or you can actually, I was experimenting around, hit control A, select everything, and go to tools, spline tools, fit spline, boom. Amazing, folks. How cool is that? Now you, you lose a little bit there, so let's do it this way. Let's delete all this stuff. Actually, I'll leave the, I'll undo that. I'll do that trick from here to there. That gives me the midpoint, which now I can trim up the left side of everything here. And what we'll do is I will select all this stuff and we'll do tools, spline, fit spline. And I'll do the same thing for this stuff. Tools, spline tools, fit spline. And finally, this one. And then we'll take a line and we'll go from there to there. And then we will do mirror entities. Control A and mirror about that and amazing. How cool is that folks? I, I That is gonna be a huge win for me on cleaning up customer files, working with vector and non-vector stuff. Um, a really a big shout out to Greg. This is why I love this, the world of machining and CAD and, and learning and I, I'm sure this is still only scratching the surface of what SolidWorks is capable of, but I was really impressed. That's the best automated tool I think I've ever seen across Photoshop and uh, cam and CAD ever. So I was pretty excited about that. Take care folks. I'll see you soon.